Three. Hey everyone, Giancarlo Veronini here. I'm at Gamescom 2010. I'm joined by Guillaume Brunier, and we're here to talk about From Dust, brand new game from Ubisoft. And the best way, we just saw the demo, and the best way that I can describe this game is that it's a little bit of a god game, a little bit of an adventure game, a little bit of everything in there, but how would you describe it? Uh, we describe it as a, as a god game in the end. That's a, that's a kind of god game. But let's say it's a, we'd like to offer a modern take on the god game genre. That's, that's what we want to do. So basically what you have to do is you've got a tribe uh, that you need to protect from catastrophes depending in the environment and you need to help them in their quests to find eventually a safe place for them to, to live. And from what we saw in the demo, there's a lot of interaction with the environment. There's a lot of things that you can do. Can you describe a little bit about what players will be able to do in this game? Well, uh, basically, uh, you, you can interact, as you said, with everything that you see. If, you, if I can see it, I can interact with it. For example, I can uh, grab water and uh, trans transport it around the map and release it somewhere else. I can grab lava, and if I release it on vegetation, it will catch fire. Uh, we've got what we like to use. I mean, it's kind of a butterfly effect. Like uh, what I do here, uh, because of the world being so naturally uh, rendered, it will have an effect on the other side of the map. So I need to take care of what's happening and uh, and maybe try to anticipate uh, the the butterfly effect. And that's that's part of the fun of the game. And something that we saw. I mean, you can really sort of sculpt this world. You can take vegetation from different parts. You can move lava. You can move water. What's, what's the ultimate goal in terms of being able to do these things? Like, what are you trying to achieve by doing these things? Well, uh, the more you progress through the game, the more powers you have and the more interaction with the world you get. For example, at the beginning of the game, maybe you can transport this amount of lava or this amount of water. And because you progress through the game and the, you're, you get more villages, and they, in return, they give you more powers. So maybe at the end of the game, you can uh, take all the water off the map uh, at one time, but that's quite cool. Transform uh, a fertile land into a desert like this. That sounds really cool. Actually, something else that we saw was the natural disasters. Um, how do these come into play during the game? And uh, I mean, how often do they occur? Is it sort of the main, you know, bad guy in the game? That's that's cool that you say this because yes, actually, the the bad guys are the the the, the events, but. They're also, at the same time, the good guys. Because, of course, in the demo we showed, uh, there's a tsunami coming to your village. So if you don't do uh, something to help them, they will die. And then you will die because you're their spirit. So if they are not there, you're not there anymore. Uh, so in the demo, the tsunami is, is, is a bad guy. But we, we really want the player to feel that there is no such thing as bad guys and good guys as far as nature is concerned. It's just nature. So for example, uh, let's say I have the same kind of uh, map and, and the tsunami is coming. Uh, and on the other side of the island there's a huge uh, bush fire and the vegetation is catching fire and everything and, and you see animals you know, running for their lives. Well, the tsunami hitting the shores will extinguish this fire. So is it a good guy? Is it a bad guy? We don't know. Well, it certainly looks exciting. I think the world's kind of been waiting for the next really great sort of god game. Um, what are we looking at in terms of release dates and platforms? So uh, we are uh, aiming for March uh, 2011, uh, and the platforms are uh, Xbox Live Arcade, uh, PlayStation Network, and PC via Steam or something like this. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for your time.